I'm, I'm fully prepared, man. I've done everything right this whole camp in terms of nutrition, um, you know, the techniques and strength-wise, everything. I, just, I can't be any more thankful to my team, Sanford MMA, for getting me ready, you know. Always positive, man. Uh, regardless of uh, me losing my title, I'll, I'll always stay positive. I'll always look forward and try to do better and get better and, you know, always do the right things to do. Um, yeah, get me back on track to getting that title again. Uh, I feel like my skills are always there no matter what, um, and they're only getting better. Um, main thing that I took out of that fight was, you know, um, mentally mentally preparing better um, inside my head. So, you know what, um, I put that behind me. I've accepted uh, what had happened last October. And, you know, although the the at the early, early this year, those fights have dropped out, um, it still gave me a bit more time to to recoup and um you know come back stronger he's a tough opponent um he's a good opponent this is the next guy in line just another guy that you know we're gonna we're gonna be fighting he's just a pressure fighter um he likes to come forward like a zombie um we're just gonna do our thing i'll keep the movement going and you know just pick him apart as he comes forward so we'll see what happens fight night it could always be different but um i like to go with the flow and see what he throws um and see if he can handle what i throw um and go from there there i was i was a champion for three consecutive years i've been caught out for the last three years even going climbing the climbing the ranks i've been caught out and yeah it's nothing new to me um he did what he had to do to get uh that next shot i think he's trying to use me as a like a fast track to the title but i don't really care it's just another fight for me no i got nothing to prove uh, i've I am one of the most uh, dominant featherweight champions uh, in one championship history. Been dominant champion for the last three years. I've got nothing to prove. I'm just going to go in there like every other fight, do my thing, and uh, let my skills do the talking. I don't think anything about that fight. I don't really care. I'm just going to worry about me, do my thing, um, take out this next guy, and you know, take the one, one step closer towards that title. That's up to one championship, man. If they, if they think that I have to have another two, three fights, then I will. At the end of the day, I'm still going to do my thing and um, fight and make try and make as much money as possible and try to climb that ladder till I get that um, until I get that title shot. We've had plenty of champions before me and yeah, plenty of exciting fighters uh, before me as well. So it's not just basically on me. Nah, I'm 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 all, I'm all good, man. Christian knows where to find me if he wants that third title, uh, third third fight. Sorry, um, it's down at the featherweight division. That's where I naturally walk around and that's where I am most dominant. That's where he has lost. So there's no point of me going up to challenge him. If I think about it, it's more of an ego challenge. So I'm, I'm not about that. <laughs> he can call, he can keep talking. He can keep doing whatever. Like, I, I don't really care. Um, I'm just going to do my thing, man. Rough, rough. We've got high level guys that are like very, very high level, very, very high level guys that, um, you know, daily, daily grind. You know, we've got some underground fighters that are, are going to be future world champions, man. It's just, they haven't been had haven't had that chance to be um yeah heard of yet so i think in due time um we're gonna have a lot of champions coming out of that gym um i've had a lot of people pushing me every single day that gym is just another level when it comes to the training yourself no disrespect to um like the yeah. australian scene i've been I, that's, i've got two titles out of australia but when it comes to training um and training at sanford it completely opened up my eyes um when it comes to like levels so um i'm more than grateful i'm more than thankful uh to be a part of the team uh i've had a few uh sean soriano i've had um nick lance i've had uh worked closely with jason strout one of the coaches as well um we have a lot of guys uh there's ronnie lawrence um i can name drop a lot of people but you know in that gym it's it's all one big family it's no it's no particular person that is better than anyone. We all work under the same um, system and program that uh, Henry, Kami, and Greg set. And in doing so, we all grow and get better together. We're gonna end it like every other fight, trying to knock this guy out, trying to lay some hands on him and go from there. <laughs>